Hey, and welcome back to Dew News. I am your host, the King of Dew. We're going to be taking a look at BitShares because it's all the rage right now. Uh, literally just on my screen, I saw the market cap peak its head to $1 billion. So congratulations to everyone owning BitShares um, as it's moving up the chain here. Um, it is a top 10 coin. It feels like it came out of obscurity into super relevance. Uh, it wasn't that long ago. It was four pennies. We are now looking at 38 cents right now uh, USD. Up 51% in the last 24 hours. So congratulations to everyone owning that. Now, that being said, let's take a look at the actual technology here and the actual tangible real deliverables that they've done up to this point. So right here, uh, I am looking at what's called the DAX, the, the BitShares Decentralized Exchange. Um, and essentially, the, the DEX is inherently a, decentral, a decentralized exchange, enabling you to trade the BitShares core token, BTS, okay? So you use BTS on this site, and, uh, and we'll talk about that more. So essentially, um, you can use your core token on a range of trustless, price-stable, market-pegged assets. Um, such as the USD. Um, they also have gold. They have silver even that you can actually um, own. You can own the coin pegged to silver. Now the minutia of how it's actually pegged and everything, I still need to validate. I'm having trouble finding really strong information on how that works. Um, I want to understand it because I think it's fascinating. Um, but right now you use your BTS tokens to trade for it. So you have to basically purchase those and then bring them here and then purchase what you want. Okay. Um, here is the exchange. It's going to look like uh, any other exchange that you've ever used before. Um, if you're not, a, not an active trader, uh, you're probably not familiar, but all the same tools and everything. Um, you can actually view the blockchain here and see what's going on. How much is it being used? What are people doing? Looks like uh, this is locking up real quickly here. I'll try to get you back out of here. Um, oh, it's because it's trying to do a live feed. That's some insane amount of data it's trying to do. Um, so the other thing that's really interesting about this is essentially you can come on here and create your own coins um, on this platform and people can trade them on this exchange. Um, so here are different assets that essentially um, you can also trade. I'm looking at prediction markets right now. Um, so here's one, um, the Daily Crypt, um, which is our good friend Amanda's channel. Um, uh, basically, the values 1 equals 1 to 1 million users by July 1st, uh, 0 if less than 1 million. And so essentially what you're doing is you're predicting or gambling 1 BTS, essentially to, um, you're either going to say it's either going to have a million views or it's going to be under uh, by that date. Um, obviously, this would be strongly manipulated. Um, potentially, right? Someone could uh, send a bunch of bots there to fake the amount of views and things like that. So keep that kind of stuff in mind in these prediction markets. But you can see that somebody created this themselves. Okay. Um, here, this asset will be worth one USD if the ongoing war in Yemen is ended uh, by 1 1 2017. So it looks like this one was in the past already. Looks like it's over. Um, but isn't that kind of cool? And people are basically creating their own. I have no idea how they validate it. Um, but you can come in here and create your own. So it just gives you an idea of what prediction markets could look like on this platform. There are user-issued assets as well. So you can come on here and create your own. Um, create your own coin. Why not? Your own asset. I'm going to come here and create some Dew Coins for you guys. You're going to buy all the Dew Coins. 
Um, they'll be worth millions. Um, you know, I was thinking maybe I should just create one coin for each subscriber that I have at the time I do it, and that's it. And uh, you know, have, if 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 it's if it's scarcity adds value, maybe. I don't know. I'm making it up. Okay. Um, and then there's some smart coins too, which is really interesting. But um, just getting kind of let's just get back to more of the 101 of what's going on here. So. Um, there's a fee schedule here available to look at. You can look at the committee members. You can go look at all the different markets and things of that nature, um, which is really, really fascinating. Um, we'll go back to the exchange, and I'm going to see if I can bring up something that actually uh, is relevant to you guys, something like Ether or Lisk. Um, now, this is a new technology. It has to communicate with the blockchain, so you can't expect high performance like you do um, on Polo right now. Um, however, uh, the the application is up and running and it does work. Um, it doesn't look like it's want it's wanting to play nice right now, but um, so I'm gonna have trouble getting this to load right now in real time. Apologize about that, guys. But uh, essentially, I just wanted to show you that it's like any other exchange. It's gonna have all the charts and graphs, and um, you know you can zoom in and out and look at all the candlesticks. And uh, yeah. You're even a lot. You can even do shorting on here, which is really advanced. Um, it's pretty much everything you ever dreamed from an exchange. So um, if you have a coin or something like that, um, and you're looking to get it on some uh, more exchanges, I think this is a great place to do it to contribute to the cause. Um, you know, BitShares right now is going through the roof, right? Um, I don't know if it's a pump and dump. I'm looking for news somewhere to as as to why um, a ten times uh, increase in in valuation by the market is happening, but I haven't been able to find it. There there really isn't any news. But what my best guess is is and this is what I went over in my market update is that the selling off of Digibyte um, is fueling is giving fire. Um, to this run-up right now and um, that run-up has officially uh, broken 1 billion and uh, by the end of today you could be looking at it passing dash um, and that's saying something right now um, and then could it pass litecoin it's got a long ways to go but litecoin is an, uh, you know it's 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 an alt but it's a major alt but my, my, you know, I'm asking myself, is BitShares right now a major alt? Does it deserve to be among um, the Ethereums and the NIMs and the Ripples of our space? And I don't have the right answer. I don't know, guys. Um, but what I, what I do want to know is I want to know what you think. I want to know what you guys think the value of BitShares is. Is it is it being oversold? Has it been dormant for for so long? Was it was it underpriced for too long? And this is some type of correction. Is it what's happening here that we go from almost nothing to essentially forty cents now? Um, help me understand. Um, how high do you think it can go if you think it's going higher? Um, how hard will it go down if you think it's going to correct down? Let me know. Leave a comment. Uh, I really want your guys' insight. Leave any uh, links that you have into any news that may be fueling this. Um, you know, it's it's either one of these crazy pump and dumps or there's some type of insider information where somebody is stacking to the moon before it's released. Uh, something epic of some sort. Um, I don't know. I've heard some crazy rumors out in the world about um, other exchanges connecting with other exchanges and things like that. And who knows, maybe BitShares is connecting up with a major exchange somewhere in the world and that's it, but um, it's going to happen someday, I, I would think, that a decentralized exchange is sometime, somehow accessed through a traditional exchange, um, some type of middleman process there. But um, And as I'm sitting here in real time, guys, we may literally witness it pass Dash, literally go to uh, the seventh position. And I'm not going to sit here and watch it with you guys and hope I want to keep these videos a little bit shorter um, for you guys. Um, I do some really long ones from time to time, and that's just the that's just because I'm a human being 
and I have uh, it takes a lot of time to get these things posted and out to the world so sometimes I, I put a bunch of things together but for this video uh, I just want to just want to focus on bit shares I hope you guys um, check it out um, maybe you learned something Maybe it's the first time you've ever heard of it because it was nowhere to be found in the top 10 um, not even close uh, just two days ago and here we are um, it's getting pumped to the moon um, and uh, We'll just have to wait and see. We'll have to wait and see uh, how valuable it is. Um, you know, I would, I'm, I would like to have seen, to be honest, I would like to have seen more volume increase on the exchange to match. Right? I'd like to. I, I want to believe that this is happening because people are saying, as a community, let's begin using this exchange more. But I'm not seeing the increase. In exchange usage match the increase in price um, so and that's one thing that you have to consider and you have to look at uh, when we're doing these valuations looks like it's getting dumped a little bit right now but that's expected if you hop on polo right now without a doubt it's the highest volume which is like crazy let's see if we can get it up and uh, yeah look at that guys it's it's outpacing ether right now um, by literally almost 15 to yeah, 15, 20 percent ish. Um, that's crazy. It's crazy right now, guys. So um, be cautious um, if you own it. Congratulations. Um, I made a little on it myself. I'm uh, really appreciating the ride that it's on. Um, and uh, it's good times. It's good times uh, for bit shares. Uh, bit shares is something that is more of a belief system, right? Um, people believe in decentralization. And BitShares is proof of concept, proof that the technology can be built. It may not be pretty, it may not be easy to use, but um, there was nothing pretty and easy to use about a computer in 1989. Okay, so keep that in mind, guys. That this is still in the infancy. Uh, what could uh, what could be what could become of this uh, belief system, this concept, these ideas in the future? Um, who knows? sky's the limit but that's why i'm here and that's why i'm passionate about this stuff because it's like watching the internet uh the last 20 30 years of the internet develop it's like watching it all happen again but in in fast forward and the only difference is is that everything is brand new and so that's why i'm super passionate about it and that's why i do this channel if you like this channel subscribe um if you liked what you heard if you want to learn more uh if you like uh staying in the know on crypto news and currency I try to bring you guys value uh, by going out there doing the research learning and bringing it to you uh, condensed um, and also giving you uh, uh, some some opinions and some ideas to think about um, and hopefully through that we're all growing together leave a comment below um, I like to learn from you guys tell me what's new and interesting um, I, I always look forward to your guys's comments and uh, follow me on Steemit. I'm trying to get to 200 on Steemit, 200 followers. I'm so close right now. Uh, head on over to Steemit. Uh, shoot me an upvote as well. Your guys' support helps keep the wife at bay for the amount of time I put into this. So you guys, uh, I appreciate it very much. I uh, appreciate all the donations. I've been getting um, more and more donations. Um, it doesn't matter if it's um, a coin uh, that's worth a penny or it's worth a dollar. Um, you know, I, I appreciate all the different uh, donations. All of them get locked up tight. I don't I don't trade any of those donations. It's for the long haul um, because the way I see it is you believe in that coin enough to share that with me, and I want to share the ride with you. And so all the coins that get donated, um, you know, I uh, I keep. I don't trade them. So uh, I appreciate the donations, and I enjoy. Uh, uh, the ride um, that you guys have put me on uh, I, and I bring that up only because if there is one that you want to donate um, and I don't have an address for just go ahead um, and let me know I don't put all of my addresses on there I just kind of put the core ones that most people believe in um, but if there's a particular coin that you want to share um, and you're passionate about and uh, you want to support this channel for the long haul um, and support my daughter's college fund um, it's graciously appreciated very much okay so that's it for the do news on bit shares i'm gonna have more
coming for you guys, but I'm about to go run to the store because I found a bunch of GPUs that I need that are hard to find right now, and I'm building some machines, um, doing some mining, and um, so that's really exciting. So I'm going to be spending some time doing that today. I'm also setting up uh, more monitors. I got the rest of the parts in um, just before this video. So I'm going to nerd out super hard in my office today. Um, it is a disaster in here. Apologize if you can see the mess back here, but um, it's good times. Super good times. Ethereum is out of control, guys. It's out of control. Before we go, let's just do an Ethereum check. We're at 320. Uh, took a little dip. Took a little dip, dip, dip. And then um, that's because Bitcoin looks like it's just dipped as well. Pretty hard, actually. Wow. Look at that hammer that just hit on the 15 minute. Wow. Somebody just, somebody just cashed out. But that's okay, guys. I don't know about you, but I'm going to be here in a year. I'm going to be here in two years. Um, who knows where it will be then. Woo! All right, guys. Well, I appreciate you again. Uh, like, subscribe, share. Hit me up on Steamit, and uh, I'll talk to you soon. And as always, I am the King of Dew. May the Force be with you.